why hello everybody welcome my name is ruby dong welcome to today's episode as you can see i'm over here at the main base that is because i have been doing some work around stuff around here i've been getting a few things up and running and doing a little bit of farming been doing a whole ton of stuff at the tree farm good gala i used up so much wood recently so i had been farming that for a while and also, I did a little bit of off-camera work. I decided to go through here, and in this tower, I decided to put in, all the way up, a large staircase. So, this thing, there's a mushroom in it. God, these mushrooms are invasive. <laughs> They're like a pest. But yes, I went through and put in a large staircase going all the way through um, there is a very minor problem with it though, is when I reach the top, it just hits a roof, and I'm not breaking through this because, uh, the thing that I would wind up breaking through is more important than actually just having a staircase going all the way up there, so, yeah, not changing it. So now it's just gonna wind up being a very large staircase. But, either way, talking about these invasive mushrooms, these pests if you will the pestilence cow or whatever uh these need to get moved i'm finally tired absolutely e exhausted of these guys being spread around random locations in my base i'm sitting out there in the water there's like 50 over there on that land over there i am going to build actual like genuine mushroom soup stations around the base i'm gonna actually do it this time for real no no faking it this time i'm gonna do it for real so i now just need to figure out where do i build a mushroom stew station i just need to figure her that part out um so my first thought is kind of putting them in, like in the ceiling or something so when i would first walk in here I was kind of thinking, uh, getting, like, a trap door or something like that and putting it in, like, up here and then removing two half blocks and just kind of having a mushroom up there is kind of my first thought for the first mush uh, mushroom station. So I'd walk in and I'd turn around and you won't be immediately noticeable unless you're running by this area. I think this would probably be a good first one to start with. So I need to get a mushroom up there and also put in the trap doors so let me grab some trap doors so i can show you what i'm thinking trap doors boom like this and i'm thinking like this and uh kind of like this and then dig that out there and then they won't drop off from there but honestly i might wind up replacing that i also could just wind up doing a single trap door just them standing on that and i think that would also look fine yeah, I think that'll be pretty good. Now I just need to get a mushroom up there. Also, uh, let me break this real quick. I also need it to be like this. Now I need to get a mushroom all the way up on those stairs there. And I would have it like, nope, okay, did it wrong. <laughs> I need to do it like, is there a way for me to do this the weird way? Okay, and aha. <laughs> like that. So I would have a mushroom there, and I would put in a trapdoor here, and that should be enough room for an actual mushroom to be there, and not escape, and I can run up, grab that, and leave. So, now what I need to do is get a mushroom up there on the second floor, in which case there should be a mushroom here. Aha! So now I need to build a staircase upwards. So I'm going to build a staircase up there, and then drop it down real quick. Alright, stairs constructed. All I need now is to get this guy's attention get him up the stairs here which he is doing just that get him onto this floor and then i push him down this little hole here so get him all the way up and then into this hole boom like that now what i need to do is i need to get a piston and push in a half slab there and that will be nice and good and i can come over here and boom i now have stew and also i believe i can flick this trap door down and boom he will be in station and i don't have to worry about him so even if i wanted to like let's say do this for decal uh he would be perfectly fine or if i just wanted to be the one thing floating there it can be so i get a little bit of choice of decoration here but i think that will be nice and good i just need to grab a piston like this actually no a non-sticky piston a regular piston and a lever let's say and uh 
come back up here and I just need to push in the bottom part of this. So it'll wind up being like this. And technically I did that incorrectly, but like this should still be fine. And boom, break that, break this. And there we go. We now have a nice flat floor. But if I come back down here and look, aha, we now have a mushroom permanently suspended up here so I can get soup wherever I want. And that's a perma location. Now I just need to set that up for each area that I'm wanting to do that. I'm thinking in each of these hallways here. So I'm going to set up one mushroom for each of these. So break the floor here and put in a slab here. Actually, wait, this hallway is uh, lower than the other one because the other one's my entrance. So this one would be here like this. Oh, wait, this one's upside down technically. Aha. Uh because -huh. if I accidentally open it, I want to make sure that uh, they don't go anywhere. So like that. And then over here, I want it to be like this. And then, oh, I need to break that, break this, then do this. Aha. And then finally, over here, do it like this, break this part, and then put in uh, this. Aha. So now that will be the main area of mushrooms. I just need to put the actual mushrooms in for that now. All right, so I have gone through and I have installed mushrooms. I have gone through and put them in there. I've also went through and put one in there and over here and finally all the way over here. So we now have full mushrooms installed here at the main area. So I also am leaving this guy up here just because he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> I just kind of like them up there. <laughs> I just kind of like them. Uh, and also going all the way up here, we have flush flooring going all the way around for where each of them are. So for like example, this thing, the mushroom should be right here. But if I ever want to get up to my storage system for my furnaces, I can walk over the mushroom because I think the mushroom is right below this block. If I break it, he's going to be sitting there. So now what I have to do is I'm not going to be installing any mushrooms up on this area. Technically I install one right here. I think that would be a pretty good area for one, but I would never use them. Actually, mm, I still might install one up here, but nonetheless, I'm not going to be using this here, not anytime soon at least. So now I need to break this so that way I can begin moving around some of the other mushrooms. I just need to figure out what area I want to install for next, in which case I'm not too sure. There's not too many areas in this base that have good roofing that I go to a lot to put mushrooms. So I got one here. I technically can put one all the way over here, but that would be in the sugarcane farm. So I'm not thinking that. Next up then would probably be here, in which case could be pretty good. So just move a mushroom right up there, in which case, uh, can I even do that? Okay, um, all right. <laughs> uh, so this isn't gonna work. <laughs> Um, I don't know, this could work, this could work. I made this whole thing out of gravel, I remember. Yeah, <laughs> here it is. Um, so I'm just gonna put this here, and then I don't have to worry about it. And I luckily don't think I got rid of any torches doing that. So yeah, I think this is good to have a mushroom put in. So I'm going to quickly move a mushroom right up there. All right, I've gone through the base and installed some extra mushrooms. So I already showed you the ones that are here at the main center. And I was also showing that I was setting up the one over here at the sugarcane farm. But I actually got that guy nice and set up. I had to deal with all that gravel because all old me decided to use gravel because I had like seven double chests filled with gravel. I was like, I gotta find somewhere to use it. So I used it while making the sugarcane farm. And oh boy, that came to haunt me back, so I had to install mushrooms there through all the gravel, but luckily it wasn't that bad. Uh, then, also running all the way over here, this is kind of going to have to be how I install a lot of the other mushrooms, just because uh, this is how it works for my base, is I just have over here at the tree farm, one mushroom suspended over a trapdoor, but I cannot have them any higher, or else you'll drown, because you can see the ceiling is leaking. 
leaky ceiling. Um, theoretically, I could wind up flattening out the ceiling. Like, it won't actually be too bad to go through and flatten it. It would wind up probably actually being pretty good, but um, this works fine, honestly. <laughs> and honestly, I could go over here and put in another mushroom over here. Uh, same problem occurs, though. Leaky ceiling. <laughs> so, uh, would still wind up having the same problem. And I also don't go to this end of the base as often, so... I don't know if I'd really wind up using a mushroom installed there. I've just been running around the base. I'm trying to find areas that have finished roofs, and I honestly just need to finish more roofs. I don't, apparently I don't finish roofing, uh, well, ceilings, really. Like, I guess I could put another mushroom in here, but once again, it would be a bit awkward for there to be a mushroom in here, but I could absolutely do one if I wanted to put one on this back wall over here, but it would have to be the same as the tree farm. It would have to be free-floating, nothing inside the ceiling. I just have a lot of tall structures. Uh, what the, in here would be near impossible. I need to completely remove the ceiling in here to have a mushroom in here because yeah, the doorways are one block away from the actual uh, ceiling. So yeah, that's <laughs> I just need to do some redesigns to put more mushrooms in here. So that's all I could really do now. So I guess I'm probably gonna have to wind up doing some roofing redesigns. I also have no walls all the way out here. Why is this thing still down? What on earth? Okay, cool. But either way, guys, that's probably going to be winding up doing it for today's episode. Uh, I got a couple of mushrooms installed. I've been wanting to do that for a while, and I finally decided to be, you know what? I'm just going to sit down and do that. Hopefully, I get more of these mushrooms sorted out because uh, they're still everywhere. But then again, them being everywhere is better than them being nowhere. It's still free food, so... Anyways, guys, that's probably going to be doing it for today's episode. If you have anything you want to see me work on here in the future, be sure to tell me in the comments down below. I always love hearing anything you guys have to say because I have a billion projects going on in this world and I always want to wind up hearing which one I should be focusing on, what, what you guys think I should be working on. Uh, but with all that said, that's going to be it for today's episode. I'll be seeing you guys here in the next one. So long. See ya. Uh, bye!